Today, the church honors the memory of Father Andrew Kim Taegon and 102 other Christians who were martyred in Korea in the 1800s. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and in 1982, the summer before I was ordained a deacon, I visited the hill in Seoul, Korea, where many of these martyrs died. I and another Jesuit with whom I had traveled to Korea saw in the shrine on that hill the instruments that were used to torture them. Actually, saw is not the right word. I saw them, but my Jesuit companion, a man who was blind since an accident at the age of seven, needed me to describe what I saw. I'll always remember how later the two of us were taken to a village of lepers. The community had been told that two Americans, a Jesuit priest and seminarian, were coming to visit, and the priest was blind. When we got out of the car, we were surrounded by several lepers who wanted to help. They felt sorry for the blind priest and wanted to make sure that he would not get hurt. They, with their leprosy, knew what it meant to suffer, and their hearts went out to someone whom they felt was worse off than themselves. I'll always remember that visit and their care and concern. I think that those who don't become embittered by the sufferings that come their way have big hearts, hearts that are sensitive to the sufferings of others. Suffering is inevitable, you know, and when it comes our way, we have a choice. We can be filled with self-pity and anger, or we can accept it and turn it into a prayer. It can teach you and make you more sensitive and compassionate toward others, and it can draw you closer to the man of sufferings, Jesus, who offered his sufferings for the salvation of the world.